This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. This is accessible through our online course modules that can be accessed at www.emergencymedicalminute.org backslash CME dash courses, or simply by clicking on the link in our show notes and creating an account. All right, well, good morning. So um, quick uh, medical minute on the question of uh, phenobarbital versus benzodiazepines, which one's better for alcohol withdrawal. Um, you know, I think we've all kind of switched over here primarily or a lot of times to phenobarbital, but there's not a lot of great data for that. There's a lot of good reasons um, that it should be better, but uh, there have not actually been a lot of good studies for it. You know, you think there's plenty of alcohol withdrawal patients we could study, but there's not great data out there. One good study that was done recently was actually an observation study where they looked back at patients that were discharged from one emergency department and saw what was the return rate based on whether they got phenobarbital, benzodiazepines, or a combination of both. And they looked to see within, within three days um, which ones were more likely to come back. And phenobarbital did great. So if you got benzos, you were about 25% likely to come back after three days. With phenobarbital, it was only 10%. So definitely a lot better in terms of whether patients came back. If you got both phenobarbital and benzos, it was about 13%, so still better. You know, there's a lot of reasons why this might be true. The phenobarbital lasts longer in the body, so you get through those first couple of days of the withdrawals better. It wasn't a randomized controlled trial, so there's some limitations to it. But overall, I think it supports what we do, that phenobarbital probably makes it less likely that patients need to come back. So keep doing what we're doing. Thanks, guys. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.